When you guys went to Dubai, where were you at at that time when you went to Dubai with us? Crazy part is we could barely afford a free trip. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> and babe, let's get a martini. She goes, babe, we don't got it. We don't got what? We don't have 20 bucks to buy a martini to celebrate our arrival in Dubai? So he was like, oh, we're going to Dubai, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but we don't have money. Like, I want to make sure we make it back. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go just to uh, fool ourselves on what our future is going to mm. be like. I remember we were in Dubai, okay? And I called you guys and I said, listen, you guys do the following thing. We're going to figure out a way to get you guys to Dubai. You flew out to Dubai, brought a couple of my friends. I was telling my friends, there's this couple that's here that I think they're going to do good things here. And he says, oh, really? I said, yeah, these guys are doing great things. I said, let me introduce them to you. I said, so these are the guys. He says, Patrick, you sure they're going to do good things? I said, yeah, I'm telling you, they are. He says, buddy, earlier, yeah. we were in the elevator with them, and it was so awkward. They were screaming at each other the entire time in the <laughs> elevator. We couldn't wait to leave. <laughs> we thought they were going to. I said, what are you saying? He says, Pat, I'm telling you. This was on. So then he brought it up to you guys. He said, we were in the elevator with you. It was very uncomfortable. So when you guys went to Dubai, where were you at at that time when you went to Dubai with us? Mm. We Financially, in yeah. every possible way. Emotionally. The crazy part is we could barely afford a free trip. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> what the heck is that all about? And we land in Dubai. We go to the Atlantis. I'm like, sweetheart, we made it to Dubai. Right? We're at the Atlantis. Everybody's checking it by. Everybody, everybody, for me, coming back there, everybody looked like an Eric B. and Rakim video. Right? Everybody's driving Lamborghinis, <laughs> uh, the, the chic uh, 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 gear. And babe, let's get a martini. She goes, babe, we don't got it. We don't got what? We don't have 20 bucks to buy a martini to celebrate our arrival in Dubai for this <laughs> company page. She goes, we don't got it. We're waiting on a direct deposit. So yeah, let's go up to the room and drink some water. <laughs> <laughs> like he was so, no, he, this, is, this is where opposites are perfect because he was like this visionary that always spoke the future and I'm more the realist that lived in the present too much, which is not always a good thing. So he was like, oh, we're going to Dubai, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but we don't have money. Like, I want to make sure we make it back. <laughs> so, so every, every he, said, he said a really profound thing. I, he said, we need to go just to uh, fool ourselves on what our future is going to mm. be like. That's what he told me. And I said, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. I get that because I need to fool myself right now too. Because uh, looking at that bank account was not making me feel better. And so we went and I remember what made me so upset because I was, we were checking in the hotel. We were waiting on this direct deposit. Uh, you guys had called us down. We were, gonna, we were gonna go as a group to hang out with you know, people that I was like, oh, there are people that are successful here. Like we gotta, we gotta hang out with them. We gotta sell the dream. And, you know, we can't show this side of us uh, that we're really broke. And uh, he had found Kahindi Thomas at the hotel. And they went into the guy's spa area. And if you know anything about Kahindi and, and Matt together, they can talk for five days straight. <laughs> so they, they got caught up in the moment in the, the guy's spa and I couldn't get a hold of them. And I said, we need to be downstairs. So he, he comes finally back. They had spent like hours talking and chatting and just having a good time. And so I'm, one, I'm balancing the fact that we had no money I didn't know where we were going on a, a group trip. I didn't know if we had to pay for something. So I was panicked about that. And then my husband comes in, he's just happy, you know, a carefree, no worry at all. I wish I could be that way. And, and so I just like let it loose, like everything that was inside of mm. me, which is not okay, you just take it out. I just didn't realize those are your friends on the elevator. <laughs> <laughs>